With the increasing number of COVID-19 patients, there is an increasing demand on the radiology department to perform portable chest X-rays and chest CTs in COVID-19 patients. This is a step-by-step -step guide that will take you through performing a portable chest X-ray in a COVID-19 patient in a quick and safe manner. It's always important to adhere to the infection control procedures outlined by a hospital by performing the examination, while at the same time economize the use of personal protective equipment, especially since there is a global shortage of PPEs. The key aim of this guide is to minimize your time in the patient's room and minimize contact with the patient and the surroundings as practically possible. So what do you need? You need to make sure that all your radiographer staff are trained and fit tested to undertake portable chest x-rays. Do multiple practice drills and use this step-by-step -step illustration to guide you. What do you need in a PPE? You need a gown, you need a mask, and you need face shield and goggles, either of them. One important thing is to sanitize your gloved hands during the procedure if you feel that you have touched the patient or you have been in touch with the con surroundings or the environment. Use a plastic sleeve to cover the x-ray detector before you place it behind the patient. This could be either a customized plastic sleeve or it could even be a black bin bag. Identify a portable x-ray machine that you will be using only in the suspected or confirmed patients and ideally a portable x-ray for the confirmed patients and a portable x-ray for the suspected patients um, would be recommended but this again depends on the amount of equipment that you have at your disposal. What do you do on receiving the request? The radiographer will confirm the patient's details patient ID, patient name and patient date of birth and then goes on to confirm the patient's location, room number and which ward the patient is on. He or she will then inform the nurse or physician requesting the x-ray that the patient should be kept masked during the examination at all times. After making sure that the dedicated portable x-ray machine has completed 30 minutes of downtime and this can be done either by looking at the radiology information system or by even keeping a logbook in your department and documenting when the equipment was used last. After confirming the downtime and availability of the portable x-ray, you can then give an approximate time to the nurse or the physician requesting text x-ray on when you will be coming up to do the examination. Once you're on the ward, make sure you enter the patient details in the portable x-ray machine before you enter the patient's room. Gown up then cover the detector with the plastic sleeve and in this case we have used a black bin bag. Place the detector back into the portable machine. Enter the anteroom and through the anteroom window make sure that there is enough space in the patient's room for maneuvering the portable x-ray machine because what you don't want to do is open the patient's room and then realize there is no space to move the machine and then having to move the bed on your own. So ideally, look through the anteroom window to make sure there is space. If you feel there is not enough space, get extra help so that you're able to move the patient's bed quickly with support. Also make sure that the patient is masked before entering the patient's room. Enter the patient's Once room. You're... Make sure all the doors are closed. the detector sleeve behind the patient. Ideally, ask the patient to sit up on his own so then again you minimize contact with the patient. After placing the detector, give the patient instructions on what to expect during the examination. Sanitize your gloved hands since you have touched the cover detector and then do the centering. Gloved hands again. again and then take the exposure button, step into the empty room and expose. Once the exposure is complete, you have to make sure that the image acquired is adequate for diagnosis or otherwise you have to repeat the examination. Take the detector from behind the patient, place it on the floor, sanitize your gloved hands. Then proceed to remove the detector from the plastic sleeve and place it back into the portable
Take the bin bag and dispose it into the clinical waste bin and sanitize your gloved hands again. Now you are ready to move the portable machine into the anteroom. Once you reach the anteroom, you can proceed to clean and disinfect the detector and the machine. You can use chlorine wipes or bleach wipes or you can check with your vendor which is the recommended disinfectant. Once you clean the machine, you can proceed to doff. Donning and doffing guidelines should be followed. The CDC has a very good illustrated guide on their website and this should be practiced multiple times before performing a procedure on a patient. Proceed to remove the gown and the gloves. Then you can proceed to remove the face shield and the face mask. Then wash your hands thoroughly and now you are ready to remove the machine into the ward corridor. You have now completed a quick and safe examination and replace the machine into the dedicated area of the ward to allow for 30 minutes of decontamination and passive air exchange. The SOP document with the detailed steps as I have described is available for download on the Google Drive link below the video. Be safe, take care and thank you.